So I want to talk about high definition multimedia interface, also known as HDMI and audio return channel, also known as ARC. And there's a new standard that will be taken over soon called Enhanced Audio Return Channel, EARC for short. So I'm going to get into more details about all this stuff in this video. So depending on your age, you know that there are different cables that were used to connect your devices to your TV. There was the audio and video cable, which means you had the yellow, the white, and the red. The yellow was used for video signal, while the white was used for left audio, and the red was used for right audio. Then the step up from that was the component cable. So the component cable was divided it up even into more separate channels to get to a better picture. So the red, blue, and green was for video, and then the audio was separated with left and right channel, just like the audio video cable. So by dividing out the color, you'll get a better picture, but the audio stayed the same. Then the optical connection came into the picture along with the cable, which was just a beam of light to give you a much cleaner sound, and that's when the audio became digital. But now we got all these bunch of cables plugging into the TV. You got the red, blue, and green, and then you have to decide which audio signal you want to use. You got your left and your right channel, or you can use the optical. Then some clever person came up with the HDMI cable. The HDMI cable took care of everything. So you had the audio and the video going to one cable, and all of that was a digital signal, digital picture, and digital audio. So that took care of all those cables that you had dangling from the back of your TV and your devices. And that one cable for audio and for video has been the standard cable for over the last 15 years. It started off with version 1.0, and at the time of this video, it's up to version 2.0. Now, when it was first launched back in 2002, it was just HDMI, but it didn't really hit the consumer market until about 2004. And at that level, it was able to connect your TV to amplifiers and receivers and sound bars. So it became that wonder cable that had just one connector, no separation of video or audio, and pretty much took the place of everything, so you really didn't need the optical cable anymore. Although TV manufacturers still added the optical cable as an option, and they still do today. Now in 2009, when the cable was upgraded to version 1.4, they added the ARC protocol. Now with the audio return channel, you can do various of things. Now it all depends on the TV manufacturer. I can speak for the Samsung TV because that's what I own. Once I connect that cable, audio that's coming out of the TV is automatically switch off. So I don't have to go in the settings of the TV and do any adjustment. If I adjust the volume with either the TV remote or the soundbar remote, the audio still just come out of the soundbar and that's it. And that's one of the capabilities of the ARC protocol. So as long as your TV and your soundbar or even your stereo receiver has that ARC port, that's the one you want to take advantage of. Now in the early days of the HDMI cable, they had some lip syncing issue. But in version 1.3 that was launched in 2006, they added automatic audio syncing. And some TV has audio syncing, so you might want to check your settings as far as the audio is concerned if it seems like it's out of sync. Now over the years, they upgraded the cable and now it's up to 2.1. Now when it comes to some audio codecs, like Dolby, True HD, Dolby Atmos, DTS HD Master Audio, and DTS X soundtracks that you find in Blu-ray DVD and Blu-ray 4K DVDs are basically converted into 5.1 audio stream. So to get the full benefit of those audio codec, now they introduce EARC, which is Enhanced Audio Return Channel. So unlike the regular ARC that can handle 1 megabits per second, the EARC can handle 37 megabits per second. So that's a big boost in the audio bandwidth. So the EARC will be able to handle the list of audio codecs that I just mentioned that's not capable with the regular ARC. So the boost in bandwidth with the EARC allows for higher quality audio from your TV to your soundbar, your amplifier, or your receiver. Now, even though EARC should have no problem handling these audio codecs, it's gonna be dependent on the manufacturer who implements it into their TV and the soundbars. So when you're shopping for new equipment, TV and soundbar or receiver, you wanna to check to see if it has the new HDMI EARC, 
and then you want to see what kind of audio codex the manufacturer has actually put into the equipment. Now will you need new cables to take advantage of the new EARC? Well that's going to depend on the capabilities of the cables that you have now. If you have HDMI cable with Ethernet or high speed HDMI cable with Ethernet then those will work fine. But the optimal cable that you want to get is the ultra high speed HDMI with Ethernet. So if you already have that cable congrats you're ahead of the curve. And that's because the ultra high speed HDMI with Ethernet take advantage of that higher bandwidth. So when you're shopping for new cables and you want to take advantage of that new port, make sure it's labeled ultra high speed HDMI with Ethernet or just simply ultra high speed and make sure it support 2.1 or above. Now if you happen to have a TV or a soundbar that has the EARC but you don't have it on both devices, don't worry because the EARC is backward compatible with the ARC. So you're still going to get the same picture and audio capability of the ARC but you won't be able to take advantage of the EARC until both of those devices have the EARC connection and you're using the compatible cables. So when can you buy new equipment with the EARC? Well it's probably already on the market. Just like how 8K, as soon as these manufacturer has new technology available to them, they try to get ahead of the curve by including it in their equipment. But remember, if you want to take full advantage of it, don't just buy the TV with the EARC. You need to buy the soundbar or the stereo receiver or the amplifier that can take advantage of it because it needs to match up on each end. If you want to take full advantage of that, remember you need the ultra high speed HDMI with Ethernet cable or ultra high speed HDMI cable. And when you buy cables, make sure you buy high quality cables. I've done a couple videos on HDMI cables and soundbar and stuff like that. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can check out those videos. So EARC is the wave of the future. Now you don't have to run out and buy it right now. I'm just explaining what it is and what's going to be coming. So just like 8K and Wi-Fi 6 and 5G, these are newer technologies that's coming into the market. At the time of this video, you don't need to jump ship yet. But you're not really missing out right now because the technology that's available on the market is still good to go and you don't need to really jump to the EARC unless you really want to. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave it below. Links are in the description to my other videos that I did on HDMI and how to hook up your soundbar and stuff like that. So go ahead and check those out. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.